Alright, so jumping right into it, this is three bundles of Brazilian curly hair from Tanache Hair. I have the lengths 18, 20, and 22. I usually use about four bundles when trying to do a no closure full wig, but I am going to only use three bundles and still show you guys how you can get that full unit look and all that good stuff. So yeah, jumping right into um, how I construct the wig, I just double wefted um, two out of three of the bundles and I am doing the loop pull method when sewing on the wefts and do not sew through the band of your wig cap. Try to sew through the material um, because if you sew through the band, it's going to, you know, it's not going to allow the, the wig to stretch. So that's pretty much all that I do. I sew from side to side. Um, I won't be cutting wefts, so I do the flip over method. Um, I believe I showed you guys that in this video. But um, yeah, just showing you all how I spaced out the wefts just so that I could... Um, one use all the hair and still keep I guess the fullness going because this is just three bundles um, had I used four the wefts would be spaced a little closer together but in the end you you won't see any of the wefts because the hair is just so super full and thick so um now that I am at the top this is my last bundle I am actually going to be single up. Wait, did I single up this? Let me see. No, I actually double left. So, okay, I double left the last bundle. I thought I singled, but I double left the last bundle. And this is the part um, I didn't show in the video that I did like two to three. Was it two years? It was probably like, yeah, it's been about a year or two now since that video has been up but this is the part that i didn't get to show in that last video that i did um when i made a wig like this um so i just pretty much went back and forth across like so and this is the part that um gives you the versatility when it comes down to styling your wig you can have it uh you know kind of down the middle on your left side right side or you can even do a high a half up half down high low kind of hairstyle so yeah I am just going to continue to you know stitch the wefts down like this it, it's kind of self-explanatory you guys see that I'm just going back and forth across the top nothing fancy nothing too difficult nothing too complicated to really comprehend um i hope that this video really helps because you guys were giving me a lot of flack on the last video that i did because my battery died and i wasn't able to record the ending part so this time i recorded the ending part and i just used um a few more wefts and I actually sold this underneath the cap just so that when I do wear the wig, I don't want, I, I want it to be as seamless as possible when I'm blending in my hair. So you guys are going to see how it looks when I, you know, blend in my hair. This is the hair after it's been washed and air dried. I've already laid down my edges and I'm just trying on the unit and it fits. I could either sew it down or pin the unit down. I didn't do neither because um, the, the unit actually fits very, very snug. I'm just pulling out some of my hair. I am natural, um, so whenever I wear this wig, this is pretty much my routine when blending in my natural hair into the curly hair extensions. I'm gonna show you in just a bit. I spray some water and conditioner on my hair, get it nice and wet and I comb it into the hair extensions just so that my hair can kind of um, blend in with the extensions itself. 
And after I do that, I like to spray um, some got to be spray or mega hold spritz just so that it can hold the, the curl pattern that was created. Um, now my hair is going to be a little bit, you know, white because I did have edge control. So it's going to have that white residue. It goes away eventually as my hair dries. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys the versatility of this wig. It, here it is down the middle. And then I'm going to show you guys the side. And I'm going to show you guys the other side. Bam. Versatile AF. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm also going to show you guys how I styled it um, in the high up. I keep saying high up. Half up, half down, high, low ponytail style. I'm just, I don't know. I'm really feeling this, this, this hair right now. So give me a second. I'm, I'm going to. That clip is coming up soon. It's, it's coming up really, really soon. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe not. Yeah, okay. Here's a clip <laughs> where I started um, half up, half down. Um, just kind of showing you guys, you know, the versatility of this unit. It was super easy to make. You guys can do this with pretty much any um, curly, wavy hair pattern. Um, or you could do it with kinky straight as well. I'm gonna try to see if I can do it with kinky straight, but I'll leave all the details to the hair down below if you guys are interested in the hair. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.